it's lunchtime. So I've been at the farm about a week now, and I've joined the regular routine of the farm, which means I'm getting up at 4 a.m. to help milk the cows. And I want to talk a little bit more about what that process is, because the milking equipment that I showed last time, that's really just the end of the process, and there's uh, a bit more to it. So I show up at 4 a.m., and the first thing that we do is we herd all the cows down to the milking collar, which is down that ramp behind me. And it's kind of like getting the cows out of bed, because they're all in their stalls, and they're lying down, and they don't necessarily want to go get milked. So you sort of walk up behind them, and you whistle at them, and let them know it's time to get up, and you, you come and you walk in if they're not getting up, and uh, pat, them on the, pat them on the back, and eventually they get the message, and they're herd animals, so they know where they're going, and uh, they head down the ramp, we close the gate behind them, and then that's the chance to clean the stalls. So I'm going to show you how to clean a stall. So it's a pretty simple process. We're just raking the cow pies out of the stalls, and sometimes there's urine or milk that uh, has puddled up, and we pull that out too. And we pull it away from the edges of the stalls, because if we leave it there, um, the cow's tails hang over the edge of the stalls, and uh, they will get covered with cow poop. Um, so just keeping it clean like that. And then uh, we cover it up with a bed of shavings uh, that will help uh, absorb any, any liquid and move on to the next stall. So it's a pretty simple process. And it kind of makes me think, taking care of cows is a little bit like taking care of two-year-olds. So we take care of 122-year-olds every morning. And it's not that complicated. Uh, we're just taking care of their basic needs. We're giving them food and we're cleaning up their poop and making sure their poop doesn't get in their food. And because they're not toilet trained, there needs to be a system to make sure that the poop doesn't get in the food. And that system is basically built into the design of the barn. As you can see, the food is down the outside of the barn, and this bar here is preventing the cows from getting through and stepping in their food and pooping in their food. So the food stays on this side, and the poop stays on that side. But we can't leave the poop there because it would just pile up. So the barn has a poop removal system built into it that is actually pretty ingenious. And it's certainly better than shoveling poop into carts and taking it away somewhere else. So the barn is set up so that most of the pooping happens in the aisles between the stalls. And when we're cleaning the stalls, we're basically just raking the poop into the aisles. And then these automated wipers come down the aisles a couple times a day on chains and push all the poop into the, the drains. And there's basically a sewage channel that runs all the way down the length of the barn. And it comes out here. Um, and it doesn't stop here. Uh, it actually flows down the hill to this manure tank, and then a couple times a year, Robert will drive up to the manure tank, he'll fill up his manure spreader out of the tank, and he'll go and spread manure on his fields. So that's how shit goes down here at the dairy farm. Now, I've got something special for you next week. I got to film a calf being born, and it just melted my heart. So you can tune into that next week by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Um, you can learn more about the documentary that I'm making at thehandsthatfeedus.ca. Or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and uh, tune in next week for that calf.